Hi guys, welcome back to another reaction video here on Our Eyes Your Eyes. I'm ready to watch episode 87 of A Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai. But before starting this video, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, leave a like to support me, and join me till the end of this amazing story. Okay, in the previous episode, we saw that. Avan uh, is trapped uh, somehow, I don't believe that. And then uh, we have Miss Tovan against Himu. Last but not least, we have a Dai against Van Sama. Let's see what's going to happen today. Are you ready to join me with these? Check it out. <laughs> yeah. In fact, he's like him. <laughs> oh, yeah. To re I told you. I told you in the previous episode. <laughs> Again, ah, okay. Yes. Oh, it's so great to see that Himo has the approval of everyone, okay? I mean... Uh... Go ahead, Himo. <laughs> I like when he's provoking him. Ah, come on, Misto. I mean, uh, we are reaching the, the end uh, today, maybe. Oh! <laughs> Break it! Uh, break that sword! Yes! 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 Go! 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 Oh, I can't wait! Uh, go ahead! Is this too good to be true? I hope not, but go! Don't stop, okay? Go ahead! Uh, Uh, he is busy now. Oh, yeah! Ah, yes, we reached this moment the last time. Okay. No, I think that this is just the beginning, sincerely, but what the F, I mean... Uh... God, he would... Yes! Yes! Yeah, I was expecting these, uh, sincerely, but... I mean, I was expecting that he was responding, but... Himo... Uh, Himo, Himo, be careful, move away from there. Yeah, move away from there. No. No, 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 no. Okay. And he knows what he's doing, maybe, so... Oh! 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 Wow, he can stop the... No! But... 
What the F? Wow, Himo. But what about... No, 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 no. Be careful because now he can attack him one more time, maybe. Ah, okay, no. Uh, in fact... Uh... But... Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh what the F! Enough. Oh my, move away from there. Now, what happened now? Could he stop? Huh? Die. Where is Die? Where is Die? Is that it? Wow, look, in this episode, everything is turning uh, upside down. Eh? Ah, oh, yeah, that's why even Kirvan said I'm not like a Mr. Van. Be careful, Himo. Maybe there is a power up now. Oh my. Eh, no effect. Eh, in fact, Eh, I was uh, telling you that. I mean, 
it was not finishing like this, okay? Uh, yeah. I think that In fact, uh, be careful, Himo. You're too close and you're not looking at him. Ah, uh, yeah. Hyunkero, what are you thinking? Oh my, I have a bad feeling now. Mm. Yeah, but... No, I think this time it will not work. Uh, Wow, but mm. yeah, let's show us what happened at that time. Oh, uh. oh okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay. What the heck? I mean. Uh. Wow, die. Oh, no. Listen, I was uh, telling you that this is going to turn upside down on a certain way, but uh, it's not over yet. Um, oh, my. Thank you for the music, part three. Oh, yes. Yes! He will win, and you know that. In fact, uh, we will show you everything, dear. Whoa! Die! Die! Oh my! Oh my, I'm not ready, look! Okay. I get the chills in this moment. This is the best music of Dragon Quest. Be careful, okay? Be careful, Diamond! Whoa! No, he stopped that. 
No, 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 he's too calm, okay? No, 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 no. Oh, uh, what the F, no. No. No, no, no. No, Leona, go behind the Dian. Give him a strength. No! No F way! Oh my! No, I can't believe that! Is it over? No! <laughs> no, but look, uh, I... No! No, guys! Uh, look, uh, I'm, is it over? I don't think so. I mean... Uh, that's too easy. I, I can't believe that Van Sama is over right now. Don't tell me that. I mean, don't tell me anything, but... <laughs> Get, look, when uh, Dai was attacking him and he was losing his energy, I was saying, Leona, please go behind the Dai and, I don't know, put a hand on his shoulder, as always it happens. Uh, things like this where uh, you see the, uh, the, the, the lover of the main protagonist is helping the main protagonist with uh, another sort of energy that is the power of love, right? So I was uh, thinking something like this, but then the silver feather! That was awesome! And once again, thank you Avan Sense, because uh, without him uh, this was not possible, so as you can see, even if we don't see Avan here in this moment, because I still believe that he will be back somehow. Let me hope something like this, because I don't want to imagine that he's trapped and it's over and whatsoever. No, not yet. But that was awesome, because you could see that even if Avan is not there, he did something that was useful in the proper moment. That means if uh, he didn't ask Leona to join, probably at this point uh, things would have been different. So as you can see, even Leona has a great importance in these uh, last moments. And as I was telling you, I really like this decision from the author because uh, even if Leona was not uh, uh, an important character, let's say, throughout this adventure, I mean, it, she was at the beginning because uh, it's a thanks to the knife uh, she was giving to Dai that he started the adventure. It was a thanks to her because Dai wanted to protect her that this dragon power from Dai came out. Uh, but throughout this adventure, she was not essential, let's say. But now, especially now, she was. And I think that Avana made a great choice to let her join, as I was telling you, because uh, this dragon power, this strength that comes from Dai, started because he wanted to protect her. So I think that that was really awesome. I mean, no matter the fact that he was descending by Paran and uh, Soara, and uh, of course uh, there was a descendance of power, but the way in which uh, this power was awakened, uh, I think that that's the most important thing. And she was the one who awoke it. So I think that that was really awesome, sincerely. And thank you, Flora, because uh, that was uh, her who decided to let her join this Avan group. So, as you can see, nothing is a coincidence, nothing is just done because we have to do something like this, but there is a meaning. And I think that that was a great choice. Yeah, look, I said about Leona because there is nobody else who can help die sincerely in this moment, so... When I saw her jumping, I was like, no F way. I mean, I said it one second before, 
and it was awesome. And when she said the silver feather, that was, wow, look, uh, amazing. Uh, and uh, that's why I want to know now what's going to happen because I don't believe Avon Sama is over. I don't really think so. I think that before ending this battle, there will be actually a power up or something because otherwise, uh, come on. Van Sama was defeated like this? I don't believe so. I also think that Dai is going to release another sort of attack, another sort of a powerful attack. So let's see. But yeah, Mr. Van was really devoted to Van Sama. As you could see, he was always saying Van Sama, Van Sama, Van Sama. And yeah, it came to my mind what Kiruvan said. I'm not like Mr. Van. I mean, it's like as if uh, he was looking down on him uh, when he was saying something like this. And yeah, even in this episode, you see a little bit of the fragility of Mr. Van because throughout this uh, story, you could see that he was really powerful, that he was, uh, let's say, unbeatable for a, till a certain point. But in this moment, you see how he is fragile, as if Van Sama's power is uh, directly connected to his power and when he is down, even Van Sama is down, when uh, Van Sama is okay, he is also okay. So it's like as if there is a straight connection between the two. But yeah, when Lomberuk was saying, look, uh, we didn't see his real power, I mean, uh, talking about Mr. Van, I agreed that. Because when Himu was attacking him and he was not even moving, I was having a bad feeling because I was thinking, what if uh, now <laughs> that Himu is distracted because he is looking uh, back uh, to all of the others, what if uh, something bad can happen to him? Look, I wanted to make a standing ovation on him. I really like him. And as I was uh, telling you in the previous episode, I was really sure that somehow there was a chance for him to avenge uh, Hadora because uh, we know that he is the perpetrator of um, Hadora. So if Hadora was betrayed by them, now more than ever there was the chance to put everything in order. And yeah, I think Ahimo has a great strength. And even if he was supposed to be the least powerful of an Oriharuko member, everything turned upside down. Ahimo, who was supposed to be the um, less powerful, yeah, he showed us that that's just the appearance because at the end of the day, Himu was the strongest of the Hori Haruko members and I really like these things. Everyone believed, okay, Himu. I mean, I also said that during the previous reaction. I said, okay, that was strange that Hyunkeru was fighting Himu. I mean, uh, but now I have to regret what I told you and I have to say, wow, that was great that Hyunkeru was uh, trying to defeat him since the beginning when they reached the Van Sama Palace because uh, at this point things would have been different if uh, Hyunkeru would have uh, defeated another or a Haruko member. So as you can see, nothing uh, is done without a meaning here. And I think that that was really beautiful, let me tell you. Let's see what's going to happen, guys, because uh, uh, apparently it seems that everything is done. I mean that we won, but I don't believe that, of course. So let's see, because there is still Kiruvan. Of course, we needed to know how we can defeat him too. So I think that we still need some more episodes uh, till the end. And stay tuned and keep on watching me. See you next time with episode 88 of Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai. In the meantime, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. Bye guys, see you in the next video.